The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 18 video for you guys today. Getting you prepared for the Madden 18 Ultimate Team season today with some budget quarterbacks that you guys can use at the beginning of the season to kind of, you know, set up your team going forward. Obviously, as the year goes on, we're going to be moving on from these guys and getting our better elite quarterbacks and things like that. But what I want to do is start off with some cheap guys that you guys can use to do solo challenges, to even play some head-to-head -head games if you need to. These guys guys are decent enough depending on the style of quarterback that you were looking for that you can kind of use them on your team again just at the beginning of the year so what we're doing is we're sticking under a 15,000 coin budget most of the budget positions that I'm going to do and I am going to be doing additional videos beyond this most of them are going to stay probably under 10,000 coins but for quarterback I like to go just a little bit higher especially this year because you need a little bit better quarterbacks We've seen from other videos from people that the quarterbacks are not throwing the ball very accurately, so we don't want to have trash QBs. We want to start the season off with a decent quarterback. So, again, we're sticking with that 15,000 coin budget, and I think that that should do good enough for us. So, with that said, let's get into it, guys. We've got our first comparison. Guys, if, you're the, if this is the first time, by the way, that you've seen these videos from me, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we are going to be doing, like I said, additional ones. But what we like to do is start off by kind of comparing a quarterback on the left, which is going to be our budget guy, to somebody on the right who's quite a bit more expensive. And we're not necessarily saying that the guy who's on the left is better than the guy on the right. But given the price difference and just, you know, what a lot of people can afford at the beginning of the year, a lot of times it makes sense to go with the much cheaper guy. So in this case, on the left, we have Sam Bradford. On the right, we have Derek Carr. And what I'm calling these guys is kind of my pocket passers. These guys are not ones that you want to necessarily get out of the pocket with and run with. Although Derek Carr actually could probably run. He does have 77 speed, which is pretty decent for a quarterback. But... Uh, for Sam Bradford, really what we're looking for, obviously, is that throw accuracy. We want some decent throw power as well. So I think that's pretty much what we get out of a Sam Bradford. Obviously, you see there on the left, uh, his attributes as compared to Derek Carr's on the right. If, if you see a green background on an attribute, that means that that card has a higher attribute than the other one. And if you see red, obviously, it's lower hypothetically if they were exactly equal it would be yellow but none of them are actually going to be equal in this video so uh anyway though that is going to kind of give you guys just a quick breakdown obviously throw accuracy short there for sam bradford obviously a good one for him he was the most accurate quarterback in nfl history last year in terms of completion percentage so you can imagine his throw accuracy short specifically is going to be pretty damn good and it is it's an 86 so that is excellent throwing the ball under 10 yards he is going to be able to do that pretty easily Throw accuracy mid, still very good on Bradford, being a 78, uh, and then obviously 78 as well on the throw accuracy deep. You look at Derek Carr, and yes, he is higher on the throw accuracy mid and the throw accuracy deep, but it's only by two, and his throw accuracy short is actually four lower than Sam Bradford's at an 82. The throw power is in Derek Carr's favor. He does have an 85 versus Bradford's 79, but his play action is actually lower by one as well. So this, to me, is one of the better budget quarterbacks in the game right now. Yes, he is an elite, but he's only going for 14,000 coins. Sam Bradford, certainly a good buy right now, I would say, and uh, yeah, no, definitely you can start off your team with a Sam Bradford and feel pretty good about it. So that's the first one, guys. Those are your budget quarterbacks. Moving on now, we are going to take a look at guys that are a little bit bigger armed quarterbacks. We're calling these our deep passers. So you see there on the left, we have a gold Joe Flacco, 79 overall. So he's nearly an elite. We're comparing him to big Ben Roethlisberger, which is going for 55,000 coins right now. And I do want to make sure that I point out, guys, that the cards on the right specifically are probably going to increase when the game actually comes out. Right now that I'm making this video, we're only having people that have EA access have access to the game right now, or you may have some influencers and you know YouTubers and various different things like that that might have access to it. But for the most part, it's pretty much exclusively people on Xbox right now that have it. And so, and even then it's a limited amount of people. So the prices on the cards typically, as we've seen in previous years with, with uh, EA access, they're typically gonna go up a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Ben Roethlisberger closer to 70,000, maybe even 80,000 coins when the game's actually out. 
So keep that in mind, guys. And obviously, Joe Flacco being a core gold card, probably not going to increase a whole lot. It may go up a little bit, but it's not going to be hugely substantial in most cases anyway, unless something completely changed from last year's game to this year's with the market. But as it looks right now, I don't think that's really going to happen. So again, Flacco, he yes, he is lower overall in every single attribute than Roethlisberger. But the big thing is that he does have 84 throw power. And this year, to throw the ball deep and have any sort of a shot of it being caught, you pretty much need a quarterback that has a good arm. So that's why I'm really recommending Joe Flacco. He does have 84 throw power. Yes, it is too lower than Big Ben. And his throw accuracy is not spectacular by any means. But he can get the ball down the field and give your receivers a shot to catch it at least. And that's something that a lot of the other quarterbacks just don't have the opportunity to do. And for 7,000 coins, that's a pretty good buy to be honest with you. So now we'll move on to our final comparison. In this case, we have Marcus Mariota on the left and Cam Newton on the right. Cam Newton going for 91,000 coins. Again, that is going to go up almost certainly when the game actually finally drops. Mariota only going for 14,000 coins right now. What's crazy is that Mariota doesn't have amazing throw attributes. Like his throw power is 71 or 73, excuse me, which isn't very good. Throw accuracy mid and deep is both a 71 for each of those attributes. And he does only have 73 for short even, despite the fact that he's pretty damn accurate in real life so it's very very weird I think he is one of the most obvious guys who's going to get an upgrade pretty quickly to start the season but Cam Newton does have better throwing ac accuracy he does have better throw power by quite a bit at an 89 for throw power but he is not quite as mobile as Marcus Mariota uh, which is a little bit surprising because you'd think of Cam Newton as being one of the better running quarterbacks and yeah he does have better trucking and things like that but the pure speed and just being able to get out of the backfield and take off and run He's actually lower than Mariota by three. That is pretty substantial, to be honest with you. So do keep that in mind again as you're looking at these mobile quarterbacks. I'm not as ecstatic about them to start the season. I do think, again, once Mariota gets an upgrade and he gets some higher throwing accuracy and power, his cards are going to be really good. But as of right now, my personal opinion is that I'm not as big of a fan of the mobile quarterbacks. But if you're somebody that maybe likes to run, um, you know, like an option type of offense or something like that, Mariota is somebody that can pass the ball. He's not just horrendous like some of the other quarterbacks. And I know these attributes look terrible, but in Madden this year, to start the season at least, we have lower attributes overall. So these aren't actually that terrible in comparison to a lot of the other quarterbacks. Just keep that in mind as we're going through here. But uh, yeah, again... Mariota, in my opinion, pretty good value for 14,000 coins if you're somebody that likes to run with your quarterback quite a bit. He is certainly somebody that you can do that with for a substantially less price than a Cam Newton or even a Russell Wilson, who's actually going for even more than Cam Newton right now. So there you have it, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did learn something. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Stop on back. We're going to have additional ones of these, the Budget Squad episodes for halfbacks, wide receivers, defensive ends. Every position is going to get one of these. So be sure to stop on back onto the channel. And let me know in the comment section below what cards that you think deserve to be here on the Budget episode. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comment section below if I missed somebody or if you disagree with somebody on here as well. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.